Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kayla. I make videos all about DIY projects. Today, what I'm going to show you are all the molds that I use for my planters and my candles that I make and I post them on my Etsy shop. Now, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that way you see all the new fun videos that I post. Now, let's jump into it. Okay, so the first mold I have is this square mold. This mold will hold about 10 ounces of candle wax if you decide to make it into a candle. You can also make it into a planter. Um, so here's the candle and here's the planter. I really like this mold because it gives it a nice square modern look. Now you can see on the edges here how it bows out a little bit. This is actually happening because I don't have the frame that went onto this mold. You don't have to use the frame if you don't want to. I really liked this look, but the frame will actually make it straight. So if you wanted to have this straight, you can also get this mold and it comes with the frame. Now, this mold also came in a three pack. So when I bought it off Amazon, it came with my hexagon and a cylinder. So both of these also come with frames, um, but you can buy all of these separate. All of these three came together. So the next mold I have to show you is this Geo Mold. This is one I got off Amazon. This is actually going to be my favorite mold. This is what it looks like once you are done. It has these nice grooves and it really gives it some texture. I did it in a blue, this is red paint, it turned pink. And then I also did it in a teal color. Uh, but I just really love the texture to it. And I fit six ounces of wax in these candles. Again, you can also make these as planters or you can burn the candle down and use it as a planter later. Now, the one thing I really like about this mold is when you unmold it, it looks a little bit thicker on the outsides, but it's very flimsy. And that's one thing that I'm noticing with my molds now that I have a lot of different types is that I'm starting to really like the flimsy ones. Um, now, this one does have a drain hole. So for mine, I usually just cover it um, with the concrete. So I'll put a little bit extra on top and cover it. Now, if it doesn't completely cover like this one, when I put the wick in there, the sticker actually covers it so no wax seeps through and goes through the drainage hole. And then I always put a label on the bottom of my candles too. Um, so this is completely closed. And I've tested that out and burned my candles and nothing comes through here if you use the wick stickers. Um, now, sometimes you're able to cover that with the concrete, but this one is definitely going to be one of my favorites. So the next mold I have to show you is this hexagon mold. So as I mentioned before, I got this one in the pack with the square and the cylinder. This one I really like because hexagons are very popular right now. Uh, they're very in style. This is what it looks like. Um, I did burn this a little bit already, so that's why you see the burnt uh, wick. But I wanted to show you an example of what it looks like and how it comes out. Now this one is, it's not as flexible as the one before. Um, it is a little bit harder. Usually with these, I have to pull like this to get it off. Um, so I wouldn't say necessarily that I wouldn't recommend this mold because I do use this mold a lot and it hasn't come apart. Um, the only thing that it, it does do is sometimes it will stain. So you really have to scrub it if you're using any acrylic paint or any dye. But overall, this one was a great mold to use. Now this one, I can fit nine ounces of wax in this mold. This one I also, again, got off Amazon. You can buy it in that pack with the cylinder or the square, or you can buy it individually. Okay, so the next mold I have to show you is what I call my mini hexagon mold. So this one will actually have you come out with something that looks like this. 
Um, now this is again the red and the teal. Uh, that's what it looks like with the candle. Um, and then here's just a blue color. Now when I bought these, they came with three different colors. So nine total of these and I got them off Amazon. Again, the link will be in the description box below. With these, I can fit about one and a half to two ounces of wax in each of them. I do try to fill them to the top so that way the customer can get enough wax in there and they can enjoy the candle. And another tip on these is when you go into a wholesale meeting and maybe your company that you're going to meet wants to know a little bit more about your scents or the colors of the concrete, you can bring these in and that way you're not having to use a lot of money on the scents a lot of money making the concrete containers. Um, you can always bring them examples, you know, for example, if they wanted a cylinder, you could bring them a cylinder, um, but at least for the scents, you could use this. Now, one thing on this mold that I will say, as you can see, it is ripping a little bit. I have used this mold about 15 times. Uh, so I got really good use out of it and it is very nice and flimsy. Um, you know, and it is strong and it holds up. I just want you to be aware that, you know, be prepared to replace these after a little bit. And the other ones just seem a little bit more durable than this one for some reason, uh, but it still gets a lot of use um, and, it's, and it's staying up pretty well. All right, so the next mold that I have is going to be this one. This is what it looks like when it comes out. It has that nice texture to it. Again, I really like those textured molds. Now this mold, when I pour the candle, I can fit about two ounces in this one. Uh, so again, another really nice tea light option. So this mold is going to be really nice. I've used this mold a lot. It's very durable. Um, it's really nice and flimsy. It also does have the drain hole in it. So when you make it, just make sure you use the wick sticker or just simply put a little bit more concrete over the little hole, or you could always cut the hole off um, and pour the concrete on there and that would work as well. Now I got this mold on Amazon, just like all my other molds. Um, I got all of my other molds on Amazon as well. All right, so this is my cylinder mold. This mold is very popular. I actually purchased about eight more of these. I had a big wholesale order uh, that I did for a wellness group out here in Arizona, um, and they wanted 50 of these. Um, and I make them by hand, each individually, so I bought an extra eight of these. Um, again, this did come in the pack with the hexagon and the square. However, you can get these individually and that's how I bought eight more of them. So this is what they look like when they come out. So this is the teal and this is, I used red again, but this is pink. Um, I also, you know, make them in natural and black, a lot of different other colors, uh, whatever you choose to do. I fit nine ounces of wax in these. Again, this one, it's still flexible. When you unmold, I sometimes have to, you know, when there's concrete in there, it's a little bit easier to unmold, but it's pretty flexible still. And these I've actually had for three months now, and I made a couple wholesale orders with these. So these are very durable. Um, along with the hexagon and the square, uh, these are great. Again, Amazon, and I will have the links in the description box below for these. All right, last but not least, I saved my absolute favorite to show you for the last one. This is my oval. This is my best seller. People love this one. This is what it looks like when it comes out. Uh, so this is actually my black and white marble, um, but I can fit 12 ounces of candle in here. It's nice and heavy. Now this mold I really like because it comes with an outside layer. So, if you've watched any of my other videos, I do a video on how to do the marble, and that will actually be in the end of the video. I will put that up so you can see it in case you wanna see how to make the candles and how to do the concrete. 
but this is how it'll come. So you'll actually pour the concrete in this one. This is the flimsy part. Um, and then it actually goes in here. So before you pour it, you put it in here and you pour it, the concrete in here, and this keeps it stabilized. Um, it's just a really nice mold. I have made probably 50 candles with this one. I did buy a couple more um, because I was getting a lot of orders and I could only make one at a time. Uh, so I did get some more. I did get this one on Amazon, uh, just like my other ones. The link will be in the description box below. Um, but again, this one I would highly recommend. Great mold and you can also use it as a planter. So as the candle burns through, or if you don't wanna pour a candle in here, you can just use it as a planter itself. Okay, so this one is actually a new one that I got and I'm super excited about. Um, it's not technically for a candle, um, but I am gonna use it with concrete and I'm gonna make like a home decor piece with this. Uh, so I did wanna put this in this video because I am going to be doing a video on this next week. Uh, so be sure to just subscribe to my channel so that way when I post this video, you can see how the concrete arrow comes out. I'm very excited for this one. So those are the molds that I use for my products, for the candles and the planters. If you wanna check out more, you can always visit my Etsy shop. It's in the description box below. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comment box and I will get back to you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you see all the fun new videos that I post. I will be posting about that arrow project that I'm going to be doing with that arrow mold that I mentioned earlier in the video. Now at the end of the video, you're also going to see that video I mentioned on the DIY marble for the oval container that I do. Uh, so be sure to check that out if you're interested. I will see you in the next video and thanks for watching.